Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be checking out another one of your guys' solar systems. So I believe we're on episode 170 of this series now so without further ado let's get into this. So we've got one system today from the user Astronomy Geek on Discord so it's called the uh, Deezus system. My first system with modded objects. So without further ado let's go ahead and uh, search this up. So uh, let's go ahead and uh... here we go. Right okay let's see what he has prepared for us today. Right here we go. Right, okay, cool, cool, looking nice and simple. Right, what we got in here? So here is the star itself. It looks to be a red dwarf. Not often people use red dwarfs these days. So here it is. So obviously small stats, no, nothing large in size, very, very uh, dim compared to other stars. Obviously it's got a small zone as well, nice little red dwarf in there. Okay, on to the first of the planets. Okay, so first up we've got Rarus here, and this one looks flipping awesome already. <laughs> oh yeah, it looks absolutely hectic as well, probably because of the game version, but it looks awesome. So, what do you think of that, guys? Oh, yeah. Um, are we on realistic? Yeah, we are on realistic. Okay. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Uh, what about velocity? I don't know. We don't. Oh. No, no, we don't. No, 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 no. We don't. That one. Realistic. I want studio. Okay, so it's got a red atmosphere, as we can see. Just insane yellow and green effects on it. I mean, that is. <laughs> Let's have a little look underneath all of this stuff. So, atmosphere removed. Obviously, red atmosphere. Clouds. And it is just crazy crazy neon green underneath yellow and green so there it is there an absolutely great world to start off with this video awesome stuff indeed uh the orbits i don't want them on blue no we don't want that i pressed something bad i didn't want to do that um help uh i, I changed the orbit modes i think i put them on velocity by accident let's just reopen it again uh where are we yeah um, it was called the d oh no what was what was the name of it it was the yeah the, yeah, the D, the D, okay, so, yeah, there we go. So, so i open that again. Yeah, I've definitely pressed a weird button. Sorry. <laughs> right, here we go. Right, so where are we? So, yeah, that is a really, really cool planet to start off with there. So, that's Rarus. Oh, yeah, great object. All right, next up, we've got uh, this one here. So, Oise, I think that's how you say this one. Here it is. So, it's a lot darker in color, looking very monstrous. And it looks like it has a Venus texture on it or something. I mean, that's, it does look really interesting. So, we can see it definitely is like a Venus texture. And it's looking pretty, pretty evil. Minus 80 degrees, so it's like a Venus and Mars combined. It looks, yeah, it looks very, very uh, monstrous um, indeed. So let's go back to view. Um, lighting, we've got the studio, so there's a better look at it. So it looks like it's got like a, it almost looks like it's got like a Pluto texture merged in with it. It looks really bizarre, but it does look awesome. This can definitely see it's a Venus texture. It's had some sort of effect added to it. Uh, maybe it's different colored water or something, but yeah, it does, it does look really cool. So there's that one. Uh, next up, we got this object here. So this is shush hope i'm saying that right so here it is here so it's got more of a creamy colored atmosphere obviously a more thick atmosphere it's hard to see down to the surface uh, have a look underneath here so there it is there so brownish surface below looking like quite a rugged desert like world under here so almost like a mars is what i sort of get from this interpreting it and let's just take a moment to enjoy the background as well we've got the milky way rotated round which is looking really cool the brighton version as well uh next up we've got this object here so hotuna this one's looking quite similar to the first planet in the system, but it looks even more insane. And it does look very monstrous indeed with that red and yellow effect on it. That is looking cool. So underneath, there's the atmosphere. So without the atmosphere, it looks even crazier. So what do you think of that, guys? Oh, look at that. Uh, clouds removed as well. So yeah, the guys, it's all just, the, it's, yeah, it's, it literally is all just a modded atmosphere. Well, not modded atmosphere, modded surface on it. But it's got all oh, city lights as well if you want to add those. So pretty cool. Cool, cool. Right, that's a good looking world as well. Next up, we got uh, Waratania. I hope I'm saying that one. So here it is. It's a little more basic looking world compared to the other planets we have seen. So it's a white atmosphere, white surface underneath, very, very cold, more of like a winter like world, I'd say. So there's that one. Okay. Next up, we've got Eura over here. Oh, yeah. Okay. Green. Very, very green. So again, green modded surface underneath by the looks of it. White clouds, nice atmosphere on top of it. So there we go. There is that one. Right, next up we've got uh, Bor Bordello over here. So here we can see it's um, a lot darker over here. Looks like the starlight has ended. I mean, how far away are we? So we are 19 days. So it's nothing too ridiculously far, actually. So there it is. So it's looking pretty weird um, with the lighting on it. Our atmosphere switched on. There you go. Cool. So there's that one. There's Bordello. Uh, next up, we've got Scylla over here. 
So again, another ice looking world, quite cold, um, quite a basic um, design. You can see there's a bit of a glitch going on there as well with that weird uh, line thing. So there's that one. Okay, cool, cool. All right, next up we have got uh, this pink one, Yarburn over here. Oh, this one's looking pretty cool. So here we go. So it's got a nice pinkish atmosphere shade on it, looking very, very nice indeed if we look underneath. That's what it looks like underneath. Cool, cool. It's like a crystallized uh, planet almost. Yes, it's a good looking planet. Definitely is a good looking planet. So there's Yarburn. Next up we've got Akam here, one of the default names you see a lot in the game over here. So here is this one. So again, another snow looking world, quite an icy snow cold world as we can see here. God, I really like the Milky Way galaxy in the background. It does look really cool like it is in this system. So there is that one. Very nicely designed. Uh, next up we've got uh, Hilaris over here. So we have the gas giant. First of the gas giants, if there's any more. So it's um, obviously looking, it's quite far out like a gas giant probably would be in a red dwarf system like this. So there it is. Looks pretty cool on the bands as well. So it's a good look at the nice mixture of oranges in there. So there's that. Then we've got Nerus B over here. So there it is. So you can see there's a bit of glitches on that one as well. So Onama. And then we got uh, Pat. How do you say that one? Vichy. This one's got a cool sort of blue looking effect to it. So a little closer look at it. So there it is. Obviously the starlight is very limited at this distance as well. And then the remaining moons over here. We have got this one. It's a darker coloured one. And then this one lastly. It says Panor. Okay, cool. So there's all of those guys. And then lastly, I think this is the last planet in the system. We've got another gas giant out here. Here it is. A lot more darker and menacing looking one. It's got 10 masses of Earth as well. Looking pretty cool indeed. Then we have some moons. So we've got Koros over here. So a red moon orbiting the red gas giant. Looking very, very menacing. Um, and then lastly, I think there's one more moon here. Yep, here it is. So we've got Chaos. And this one is almost completely blacked out. Very, very hard to see what's going on here. But yeah, there it is. So there is Chaos. I mean, get try and get a closer look at it there. You can just about see it. Very, very dark red indeed. So there is Chaos. But with all that said and done, that was a really, really nice little system there. Really enjoyed that. Some really good looking objects. Really notable objects in here. So, I mean, I think the best one for me has definitely got to be that, I think the first planet in the system, or Hotuna here. I think they're probably my favourite. So it's really, really bright, bright ones. I think this one probably takes the cake as the best looking planet in here for me. It just looks crazy. So there's that one. Uh, I think the other one was, um, was it Rarus? I can't know which one. I think it was Rarus. Uh, I think we need to move it, go back to the inner... Ah, okay, so the closer you are to the star, the more bright it was. It looks not looking, um, it didn't, doesn't look like it did earlier, which is weird. Let's, just, uh, let's reopen that simulation. That's weird how it's all changed. Let's uh, go in here again. Just get the fresh save open. Where are we? So, Naris. There we go, that's how it should look. So, there we go. Oh, oh it's looking completely different. It was all bright and glowy earlier. What the heck? Well, that's weird. Well, at least we saw it in the form it's supposed to be in earlier in the video. So if you want to go ahead and see that, just uh, roll back the video a bit. But yeah, at least uh, this one here is still, uh, still looking good. So yeah, there we are, guys. That does it for today's system. So again, a massive thank you to Astronomy Geek for sending this simulation in. Really, really enjoyed that one, actually. That was really, really cool. So yeah, very nice stuff indeed there. So yeah, if you guys have got any feedback and stuff, let us know down below in the comments. And with all that said and done, guys, let's see if we can go for 40 uh, likes on today's video. Subscribe for more. Helps on the journey to 21,000 subscribers as we're getting super close to it now. So a huge thank you all for that. Uh, 20,000 subscribers special. I still haven't forgotten. I've got it in my mind. I'm still thinking. So, yeah, just an update on that. But, yeah, with all that said and done, like I said, make sure you guys all have a great day. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.